issues. Uh, Prime Minister, this morning when you approached President Trump before the meeting, did you apologize to him for your remarks last night at Buckingham Palace? And if so, what was his response? We had uh, a great meeting yesterday uh, between uh, uh, me and the President. We talked about the kinds of things that uh, really matter to Canadians, whether it's how we've been moving forward on NATO, uh, whether the, uh, the progress being made in NAFTA is going to continue, uh, which we're confident it will. Uh, we talked about the challenges of China, and we also uh, talked about a few things. Uh, last night, I made a reference to the fact that uh, there was an unscheduled press conference uh, before my meeting with uh, President Trump, and I was happy to take part of it, uh, but it was certainly notable. And I've had a number of good conversations with the President over the course of this, uh, this, uh, this day and yesterday. Today and uh, when you told uh, President Macron and Prime Minister Johnson that you saw Trump's team of advisors' jaws drop yesterday, what were you referring to? What was it that caused that surprise uh, among them? We were all uh, surprised and I think pleased to learn that the next G7 will be uh, at Camp David. Uh, I think that was an unscheduled announcement and uh, uh, I think everyone's team, uh, every different leader has teams who every now and then uh, have uh, their jaws drop at uh, unscheduled surprises like uh, that video itself, for example. Prime Minister Lee Berthium, Canadian Press. What value did you see for Canada in talking about President Trump behind his back that way? I think uh, we recognize that uh, there are, uh, as we talk to uh, G7 leaders, an interest in where the next G7 uh, meeting is going to be. Uh, and I was pleased to share with them uh, the story of how that came about, that we are uh, going to be gathering, apparently, in uh, Camp David in, uh, in, the, uh, in the coming year for the G7 meeting. And how do you respond to those who say you may have jeopardized USMCA, other bilateral relations with the US with your comments, and will you be more careful in the future? Uh, the relationship we have with the United States uh, is uh, an extraordinarily important and effective one. Uh, we have renegotiated uh, NAFTA to be a, a better deal for Canadians, for Americans, and for Mexicans. Uh, we're moving forward on military collaborations. We're uh, working together on the world stage on a broad range of things. And uh, the relationship between Canada and the United States is extremely strong. Uh, and I have a very good relationship with President Trump and his team.